The first thing that you need to do to improve your life over the next 90 days is you have to become a ghost and you got to focus on your healing. All right, because ain't nobody going to have you like you have you. Right? You got to figure out, are you loving yourself correctly? Are you showing up the way you want to show up every single day? Are there any emotional imbalances that you have? Are you harboring resentment towards anyone? Have you forgiven yourself for the past? Have you forgiven other people? Have you sat in a room and meditated on who you really want to be? Sometimes you got to go away from the world. Sometimes you got to leave. And what's going to happen sometimes when you leave is sometimes you're leaving for yourself. But when you come back as a better version of yourself, you help everybody else as well. And sometimes when you leave, the people that you're actually becoming better for, they're going to crucify your name, not knowing that you say, I want to come back and be better for you. So you got to become a ghost. You got to focus on your healing. You got to figure out who you really want to be. You don't want to be at your deathbed like, what if? What if I would have became that person? What if I would have did that work? Right. So you got to go deep inside. That's the first thing you got to do and figure out if there's anything that you can attack on your own that can help you become the best version of yourself. All right. The number two thing that you need to do to improve your life over the next 90 days is you need to make a plan and fix your credit. Right. And that's those are just practical things. You got to make a plan. Now, there are credit repair companies. There are things you can do. There are videos on YouTube. Like you got to make that plan because a lot of people you know, if you don't have bad credit, this ain't for you. But if you got bad credit, you got to get that off your head, off your head top, man. That's stress, right? So make a plan to fix your credit, get your life right. All right, figure out what that looks like. See yourself as a 750, see yourself as an 800 credit score and start to have that power that you can move, you know, around the world with, you know what I'm saying? Having that good credit. All right, the number three thing you need to do to improve your life drastically over 90 days is you need to drink a lot more water and track it. All right, I will aim for a gallon a day. Some people say you need to drink as many ounces as your body weight. Whatever that looks like for you, you got to drink because if you don't understand that you're actually dehydrated before you're thirsty, that's a big one. That's a big fact. So by the time you actually are thirsty, you may be dehydrated or away. So you got to keep your body hydrated so you can walk and move and operate the way you need to. You got to keep that brain fed. You know, you got to keep your focus sharp. Sometimes the things that are, you know, disturbing you, sometimes the way you're reacting in life is not because of what's actually happening. It's because you have a lack of water in your system because you're dehydrated. And that can go, you can eat some fruits. You can eat some high yielding fruits, vegetables, watermelon, things of that nature, all right? The number four thing that you need to do to drastically improve your life over the next 90 days is you need to put whatever bills that you can on auto pay, all right? Go on and pay bills every single month manually ain't it. All right, put whatever you can on auto pay. Now, if you're budgeting and you can't do it right now, try to start with one. This is one of the things that changed my life. I put my whole life on auto pay and it changed my life, right? Because now you're not having that mental stress of what's going on with the payments and you could free that time up to be creative within your life. You could free that time out to do things that you want to do, right? You can free that time out. You only have so much space mentally and a lot of that's taken up by bills and credit for people. You don't want to spend your life paying bills and credit you wasn't born to just pay bills and die. Put that shit on auto pay and forget about it. All right. You can do it. And if you need to make some extra income, this is the time where you go go to focus on your healing, acquire some skills, and then you get to the point where you have some extra income, some extra skills about yourself, some extra fortitude and confidence, and then you can put your bills on auto pay. All right. Put those bills on auto pay. The number five thing you need to do and improve your life over the next 90 days that you have it is you need to take a trip or take some trips. Right, you need to plan them out too. So you don't have to take the most expensive trip. You can take a trip to nature, right? You can take a trip to the park. It can be something daily, but this is gonna allow you to free up that mental bandwidth because if you spend so much time thinking and doing and preparing in life, you're not giving your brain a rest. Take a trip, take yourself to the movies, just watch something. Give your brain some time to stop working, right? It's gonna improve your life. So I'm gonna tell you something that I do. Sometimes I go to nature or I go to a movie. I go there just to let my brain stop. I take many trips, right? If I'm in a house and I've been doing something or an environment too long, I gotta take a trip and let my brain stop working. You gotta put your brain in environments where it doesn't have to do the work anymore so you can come back fresher. And if you do that like once a week over the next 90 days and maybe you take a big trip, you know, one of these days you go out to a resort or you go to the beach or you do something, you just let yourself breathe, turn your phone off, focus on your healing that would improve your life over the next 90 days all right so plan a trip take a trip all right the sixth thing that you need to do is you need to create a health plan all right and you can do this in many ways you can um join the x28 challenge right you can join my fitness program that can help you out you can hire a trainer you can do something outside you can go to the park you could do 
a gym membership, but you have to create a health plan if you don't have one and you have to stick to that health plan. You cannot be out here just willy nilly, right? It can't be a chore to work on yourself. You can't, it can't be a chore to have to become the best version of yourself. It has to be something that you get excited about, right? And consistency compounds. So that's something that you have to do, all right? You gotta create a health plan. You gotta stick to it. Like I said, X28 Fitness can help you with your health plan. The number seven thing that you need to do is you need to work on your business idea or start to look for a trade or a skill that you can get involved with, right? Because if you don't know about the climate of today's economy in the world, job security is like something of the past. So it's, it's a lot of ways to get money out here. There's a lot of ways to provide for your family out here. So instead of scrolling social media and doing things of that nature, work on the business, come up with a plan, right? Look up ways to make money or find a trade school that you go to, acquire a skill, become an HVAC technician or something like that. Something that's essential. You know, people always need AC. And I'm just using that for example, but there are many trades and many skills that you can get involved with, right? If you don't have one. Also, if you're working a regular job, understand that that's just your nine to five. What you do from five to nine is how you secure your legacy. And what you do from five to nine is how you build wealth, right? What are you investing in? Are you reading the books about it, right? Work on the business idea that you're working on. Get off your butt. Watch some things that'll help you, you know, help you get to that space. Number eight, you gotta become more valuable. So over the next 90 days, how do you become more valuable? Personal development, you need to work harder on yourself than you work on your job, right? And that's how you become more valuable. See, people think that you get paid or you make things happen based on who you are. No, you get paid based on your value. Your value to the marketplace is what holds true. So how valuable can you become? You get more information, you get more knowledge. Like I always say, ignorance is the biggest hedge against personal growth. So what you don't know is what you don't know. If you don't know anything, or if you don't know the next level of things, that's where your value level is. It stays right here, right? So like I said, a mentor of mine said, you gotta work harder on yourself than you work on your job. And if you do that, you can, you'll start to see exponential results. I took that to heart. I was like, all right, like you be hearing quotes, but when you take them to heart and do them when they work, you be like, oh man, that worked. One point in my life, I didn't have no value. I didn't have no credit. I didn't have no cash. I didn't have a house. I didn't have anything. I didn't, I didn't have anywhere to stay. I heard somebody say, work harder on yourself than you have than you do on your job. I was like, well, shoot, I ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> so I just started working on myself. I started reading. I started meditating. I started working out. I started drinking water. I started doing all these things. And I would say, you know, my life is pretty good. You know, based on the things that I, so I just started working hard on myself. Work hard on yourself like you work on the other things and see what that, where that takes you. Put that time that you put in other things and start putting it on yourself and see what happens. Maybe two hours a day, three hours a day, whatever you can afford, right? All right, the number nine thing that you need to do to improve your life drastically in the next 90 days is you gotta stay out of sucker-ish. Anything that ain't like sturdy, anything that ain't thorough, anything that ain't true, like just stay out of it. If it don't resonate with your spirit, you know, but you're just doing it to do it, don't do it, right? Like, you don't need it, you know what I'm saying? I call that, like, anything that don't be true to me, I'm out of it. And it may not be suckish to somebody else, but it is to you. It could be. That's how you keep yourself on a straight and narrow path, right? Just staying out of sucker stuff, staying out of stuff that ain't for you, you know what I'm saying? You about to create a whole new vibe about your life. You're focusing on your healing. You're making a plan to fix your credit. You're drinking a lot of water, paying your bills on time, taking trips, creating a health plan trades business like you ain't got time for the extra right i be telling people i don't be having time for nothing extra like don't miss me just miss me with it like i'm cool so that leads me to the number 10 thing that you need to do you got to make it a point that you don't gossip all right don't talk about other people don't compare your progress to other people gossip is poison it gets no one anywhere majority of the conversations that people have are about other people that's why i don't really talk to me too many people because i'm not interested in talking about other people how about you just build your life and you be the people they talk about? Like, you want to be the person they gossip about because that's what people like to do. So you don't want to gossip. No more gossip over the next 90 days. Don't talk about anybody else over the next 90 days. And don't compare your progress to anybody else over the next 90 days. So look, those are my 10 things that you can do to improve your life over the next 90 days. If any of them help you, I uh, want you to just hit a like button, subscribe, share it with someone if you need to. And I'm going to see you on the next video. Peace.